Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in the new game called Dauntless. So first of all, before to go, uh, when before going in the uh, game and in the config file, I just want to make sure something. Make sure that you're writing game here. You open your game mode setting in Windows and make sure this one is at off. This game mode is causing a lot of issue with a lot of different game. So really important, put this one at off. The other one that you need to put at off is your game bar, the thing that you can use with on Windows for recording game clip, uh, screenshot, broadcasting, broadcasting, sorry, etc. Make sure that everything is at off because it's causing a lot of issue. So now let's go inside of the game. So now in the game, uh, first of all, make sure that you're playing this game in full screen. Uh, I'm, I was losing like two FPS when I play borderless or window mode. So make sure that you're playing full screen. Uh, I'm playing full HD. Uh, again, if after all the changes that I will show you, if you st still don't get your 60, uh, you will probably need to lower your res resolution or your quality, quality scale. This one is a bit like resolution scale, so it's pretty much the same thing. When you're at max, you're at 100%. If you go lower, you can go like 90, whatever the number that you will change. But uh, this is last resort because you will see after like here, um, you will see a big decrease quality. And the, the, the game will be blurry. You will see pixels. So don't really touch it. Um, the only reason that you need to touch it is you're still getting like 30, 35 FPS and you're still struggling and everything is at low. You can lower a bit your quality scale. Uh, I remove completely motion blur. I don't like this effect, but it will not uh, change something on your FPS. FOV, I don't touch it. If you go lower, you will see less in front of you. You can gain a couple of FPS by doing that. For me, it's not something that's really important in this game. Uh, first of all, view distance. This one is really important. You will gain 3% uh, for each bracket. So I'm playing at medium. Low, um, you don't see really far with low, so that's why I'm playing at medium. But of of course, if you have like a laptop and integrate video card, you will probably need to put this one at low. Anti-aliasing, you can get 2% for this one. I'm playing at medium because low, I feel like too much object, like all the lines are breaking in the game uh, on the objects. So medium is a good um, is a good spot for this game. Shadow, this one is really important. You can gain 3 to 4% of increase for each bracket. So put this one at low. It's not something really important in this game, honestly, the shadows. So put this one at low and you will see huge boots on your FPS. And also your FPS will be a lot more constant. Post uh, effect, uh, I'm remo removing it. I'm putting at low. Uh, you can get 2% for each bracket, but it, I'm putting it at low because I, I see some rim. A weird bloom in this game i still see motion blur when i remove motion blur so uh yeah put this one at low and you will uh, remove uh the majority of uh, post um effect after that post processing and all those uh, kind of stuff in this game texture i'm playing at epic it depends on your vram on your video card so if you have three gig and more you can play at epic honestly you don't need a lot of vram for this game if you have something like uh two gig test i or medium and less than two gig for sure go with low the last one is the special effect I'm playing at medium. You can gain 2% for each bracket. Uh, it's not something that you will see when you're just running in the map. It's more like when you're fighting. Uh, if you see that you're getting like 10, 15 FPS drop when you fight, uh, lower your special effect and it will help you a lot. Now we will go in the config file. So now the config file, um, you just have to open the game user setting. And to find this, you need to go to your C drive, user, the name of your computer, app data, local, arcan, saved, config, windows client. Make sure that you see your hidden file in windows to see your app data, really important. And after that, open the game user setting. So you will see all the options that you can change in the game. So you have a couple of stuff, uh, whatever, music, bass effect and stuff like that. But the one that you need to change is this one. So the foliage quality, put this one at zero. Uh, really important, it will give you a big boost. Uh, zero mean low, so if you don't like this, uh, I don't know, you have like 55 FPS and you don't want to go too crazy with your foliage, you can put something like two, because uh, technically three is the max, uh, so you can put two or one, depending, and you will see that uh, the foliage in the game, uh, the quality will decrease, but you will gain a nice boost in your FPS. So that's about it for the video. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section, post me your rig, so CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace, everyone.